with a group of dudes and intimidate him. Maybe break his arm. You can't break Tom Brady's arm. Oh, what? Oh, my gosh. Tom Brady would kick your ass. Who is this? I don't know. I've never seen him before. Oh, oh no. Just some drunk guy? Or he's a dead guy. Hey, let's go. Oh, my G Oh my God. He shit his pants, D. D, oh. he shit his pants. Oh, I don't want to know that. He to be drunk. Oh. He could be dead. Why are you jump to dead up, in a bar man. with an this alcohol? Is the Legion. Wake up! Oh, you're, you, you might be dead. Holy shit. You shit yourself and you die. Damn that. Shit face. Gang, gang finds a dead guy. So they call it shit face, right? Yeah. Tell you what, I'll get the gasoline. Charlie, we're not going to burn it. Come on, dude. You never let me burn anything. Maybe <laughs> My name is Rebecca Keene. Huh? I was notified that my grandfather died here last night. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's really horrible. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> what is he <laughs> putting himself out like that? I'm like a surgeon. Yeah, just a very warm and gentle soul, actually. So, you knew him? Yeah, I wouldn't actually say that I knew him all that well, but no, we did, I, I knew him pretty well. Oh my yeah, we got, gosh. You judged him a second ago. <laughs> he caught on He judged him as like, I'll take it. I was just gonna have you ever been to a nursing home? People abandon their parents all the time. Sad throwaway culture we live in. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Emotions are running very high around here today. Yeah, it's been a difficult couple of days for me. Yeah, I so, try not to think about me, though, in circumstances like this. More importantly, how are you? Gosh. Come on, a lot of people live perfectly normal lives in nursing homes. Oh, we're going to Oh, Jesus. He doesn't even look like a real person. Should we go wake him up? No, I don't know. Let's go. No, 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 no. We can't go. We came all the way down here. Let's just... Uh, let's... That's a great <laughs> noise. <laughs> They've stolen everything from me. They have? Yeah, well, what do you expect from Jews, right, Dennis? Uh, Jews, um, maybe I should go and, and check on D because... No, I'll leave it be. I'm sure she'll be fine. She's trying to hurt the viewer. <laughs> 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 that was a great scream! Oh my gosh, that was a Doctor Who scream. That was silly. Wow. How would you like to make 20 bucks? Sure. Got some nicer clothes? No. Man. Right. It took them so long to figure that shit out. Box. Oh, what's in it? Is it just his uniform? I'm afraid to meet something else in there. Holy shit. What was it? It's a I, uniform. I, that's what I thought. He, which side did he fight for? I was a war hero. No. I'm not sure he's evil. Holy shit. Why? Yeah, two caves. Two caves. Like one guy that throws him down and starts dancing. This is unbelievable. I know that. I know that. There are like so many medals in there, dude. This guy was probably like... King Nazi! How is this even possible, oh, Charlie? It's possible. They came on boats or whatever, but they're here. Okay, hold on. This could just be collector's crap. No, 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 no. Look at that! <laughs> it's, it's Dennis! Like Dennis. No! Alright, so here's the deal. He wants me to take all the shit to him. Oh, screw that old bitch. He's a Nazi. Right? Die <laughs> hell, right? Let's sell the shit on eBay. No, I thought about that, though. I think it's, like, illegal or maybe a little bit immoral. Not illegal. We went down there, and not only did we feed every last poor, miserable, precious soul, but we washed the feet of every man, woman, and child. Oh, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> the spirit of Christ. And that was Lionel. Lionel Keane. Lionel the Lion. This, my friend, is an authentic Nazi officer's uniform, circa 1942. Notice the stitching and fine attention to detail. Where did you get this? 
Let's just say it found its way to us and leave it at that, shall we? Okay, I find this offensive for so many reasons. How much will you give us for it? Nothing. Nothing or... I plan to call the police the minute you guys leave my office. <laughs> no, I remember how beautiful you are. And look at this wrinkled old head against you. Oh my god. Look at this teeth. Look, look, look. 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 Yeah, right down the hall. You got rid of her glitch. <laughs> oh, oh god. god. Look at this thing here, god. man. Blast. But it just seems like a waste of a perfectly good Nazi uniform. No, 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 no. If we sell it, we run the risk of going to jail. If we keep it, we don't get anything, so we may as well burn it. That's true. I mean, it is always fun to burn things. Yeah. Yeah, it is. He went and we probably really. shouldn't let Dennis know about his grandfather anyway. No. You know, he might just screw with his head. Yeah. All right. Get it going. Get on. Get on it. All right. Alvita Zane. Alvita Zane, my friend. Woo. <laughs> So it's all in there, right? Yeah. You didn't keep anything or... No. Did you? <laughs> no, dude. Okay. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, bro. Hey. What's up? What you burning? Some trash. Just burning some trash, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, listen, you want to hear what happened with that girl? No. No, I don't, dude. No? No. Oh, come on. No, I don't care about what happened. Yeah, you do. Yeah, of course you care. I don't care. want to hear no. it, Dennis. Yeah, you do. Yeah, okay, you, you know, do. know what, bro? I'm sorry. You win. Okay, I give up. You no, won. You're the no, better man. No, you don't give up. See, I won fair and square. We went head to head, and I came out the better man, just as I predicted I would. So we went back to her house, and we made sweet, passionate love. No. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Great. Did you keep the Guinness picture? You must be really proud of yourself. Awesome. Your grandfather's a Nazi. He did. It's the picture of his grandfather. <laughs> Firebug. <laughs> He's done that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Who are you watching? <laughs> Hey guys, Cruel Blonde, we've I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. Aaron. Are we, are we, are we recording? We are. We recording. Okay. There is a red flashing light. We're watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> Last time on, well, you just saw it. As much as you could. <laughs> sure. Uh, we, we, now, that we, now that we covered all that, the red flashing light. we're getting into this episode where previously we had to deal with Nazis and dead people. Yeah. And Old dead Nazis. People. And grandmas. No, Fingers granddaughters. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 There are probably grandmas in that place, too. There was two granddaughters that Watch we know out. of. Make sure we're so cool. Okay. Christopher Murray, a teacher at St. Vincent's Elementary, has been accused of sexually abusing two former students. St. Vincent's, that's a school you went to, right, Mac? Yeah, me and Charlie. What else does it say? Murray has been the physical education teacher and boys basketball coach for close to 25 years, blah, 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 blah. I know it. The accusers are two brothers whose names are being withheld, but the investigation will focus on the mid-1980s as the time period for alleged abuse. The police are hoping more young men will come forward. Oh, no. Horrible. Did this guy teach you guys? Yeah. Yes, he did. We were in the same class. No. Yeah, well, no, I didn't like it, though. Mm -hmm. I didn't like what it. What the then. hell are you talking about? I didn't like that class. What? I gotta go. <sighs> Holy shit. Charlie got molested. Huh. Stop dancing! What? It's just a what? song. Charlie got molested. Why are you dancing? I'm not advocating for it. It's just a good song. You're like Ted. Ted? Who's Ted? Ted dancing! Bun Bundy? Oh. <laughs> Ted Bundy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Ted would talking about. <laughs> Ted dancing. We both went different ways there. <laughs> Very different. Sweetie and I took psychology at Penn, so why don't you let the grown-ups talk? Oh, right? to the yeah, class. Thank you. Listen, I think we need to have an intervention. I don't want to do my psychology until you. Yeah, you need uh, an intervention. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
Let's tell everybody Charlie knows that he got blown by a gym teacher. And then we'll throw him a little surprise party. Celebrate the occasion. Okay, you know what? You being a smart ass, not helping Charlie oh, in this whoa, situation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who, who said anything about getting blown? Well, the article didn't specify what type of abuse it was. It could have been anything, dude. Like, yeah, but do you think he got blown? I don't know. Yeah, you know? Probably got blown, which is why I think you need to reconsider my idea. Okay, you know what? Stop. Okay, I'm gonna... sorry. I'm sorry. We need to clarify something here. Do you think that Murray blew these guys? Why are you so obsessed with the blowing aspect of all of this? Because I knew these two brothers that the article was talking about, the McPoyle twins, Ryan and Liam, okay? They were the type of kids that would blow snot bubbles, you know, and like rub them all over each other. They were gross, and they smelled like a couple of unwiped assholes. So what? Well, you know, if Murray is like fondling or touching them, whatever, I get it, all right? But if he's dishing out blowjobs, come on. I just don't understand. What do you not get? What are you he's going about? deep You're in not, this. You're not getting this? I was in that class with them, all right? I was with those guys. Is, is he having like, he's jealous. Um, are you okay? You don't know that. No, dude, I'm not okay. I... How come you're getting so upset? The police are asking for more young men to come forward. You know, that means that there are more guys out there who've been blown. What you and he did. not He's like, why wasn't I chosen? Is that what it is? Why didn't he like me? Okay, uh, listen, are you trying to say that you got molested? Okay, look at this. Look at this guy, huh? I was cute, I was energetic, I was fun. I mean, what exactly was this prick looking for? What are you, sorry? If the McPoyles got blown and Charlie got blown, then why didn't I get blown? Max mad that he wasn't molested. You're going to hell, dude. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they said it. That's yeah. the best. Oh my gosh. Quit holding it up. Throw a picture of him. Yeah, I, I, I believe it. Really? I didn't think it looked like him. That's crazy. <gasps> Mary! Hey, Charlie. Long time no see. He's so also, sweaty. William. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I gotta talk to you guys. Yeah? Yeah! Can I come in? Yeah. <laughs> come on, man. I need to talk to you guys. Come on. Is it McPoyle? McPoyle. Ryan and Liam. Brothers. I need to put on clothes. <laughs> what is There's a squirrel. No, where's your <laughs> we just stepped out of the shower. He'll be down in a minute. We. All right, l listen, you guys can't go. Did you just say we? What? Did you just say we just stepped out of the shower? I said he. <laughs> You've clearly <laughs> been in the okay. shower. Listen. I don't know right there. You guys cannot go to the police and say that he molested you. Why not? Because he didn't molest you. That's true, but he's a dick and we hated him. This is our chance for revenge. You want in? No. Oh. I think you do. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. I don't know if you've been paying attention oh, to the news guy. recently, but there are millions to be made here, my friend. If you went in on the team, you'd probably get a nice class action suit going. Okay. Why are these okay. wearing pledge? First of all, there are people out there who actually have been molested. And you guys are going to exploit that for your own personal gain? You assholes are securing your place in hell. We thought about it. We're willing to roll the dice. All right, well, I won't let you do it. I'm going to call the cops. No, you won't, check. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, my friend, I'm afraid not. And why not? Because we'll tell the This guy is the, the harshest unibrow I've ever seen. I know. A year ago. We should tell the cops that that fat dickhead Jim teacher we had in junior high molested us. And just shoot him. <laughs> I was joking. Really? I'm not joking though. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> you not even joking about <laughs> We should do it. I want to do it. You'd hate to have to put this whole thing on your shoulders. So you're going to have to keep your mouth shut on this one, Charlie. You don't have to join us. But if anyone asks you point blank, your ass got molested. Otherwise, we're talking conspiracy. Look at that unibrow. It's crazy. In prison. Both of them. This is off center. I know. <laughs> Why is it? Very bad. Place. I didn't even realize he had one. So I wasn't looking at it. That's why he's spraying pledge. Whip it. Okay, as soon as Charlie comes out, that's not even whip it. Why is he holding that yam like that? It's like a penis. It's psychology. They don't realize they're going, right? Yeah. They both fail. <laughs> Oh my god, don't be the teacher. Please don't, don't. Oh my god. You fucking idiot. Aaron, do you realize who that is? 
I don't know what this shit is all. Then Fred, that's Belly. My friends are. He's he's from Save by the Bell. Man. Totally. He's closing the blinds. I don't even remember who these assholes are that are accused. I mean, nothing special there, right? Yeah, nothing He's special. a big dude. Yeah. yeah. Well, he gained weight in the later years, too. Of Say by the bell. You know when you get real tight, like right up in here, in this area here? You know what I mean? Yeah. No, not here, like right like in here. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you want me to do? <laughs> oh, all right. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Like he's, he's so tall. He's a big guy. I can't believe Mac. I know. Guys, I have good news. I've been oh my God. The subject of pedophilia. It turns out <laughs> this that it isn't hurt. about sex after all. It's about power. So the assailant doesn't go after the one he finds most attractive. This guy. He goes after the weakest he can find. Wow, that is good news. Jesus, man, what is wrong with you? No, I'm so you glad they're calling him out on that. If Mary was looking for the weakest he could find, it wouldn't have been Charlie. Why not? Because Charlie was a little bit of a psychopath. He had this thing when he got excited, his face would turn purple and he'd just start biting things. I don't think Mary would have put his dick anywhere near. Okay, what about the McFoil brothers? Oh, yeah, they were prime real estate. I'm sure he went to town on them. What's your point? Charlie didn't get molested. Look how superior they look. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. I know. Uh, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. Yeah. Why don't you leave this to the two people that are qualified? It to is cute situation. that you did some research and got four books, though. Nice work. Yeah, good job. And you know what? We tried it your little tippy toe pussy way, and that failed miserably. So now, why don't we try something that will work? Look, I just want to say, I think this is a terrible approach. <sighs> no, don't be his family. It's his parents. Don't, don't be his. Hello, Dennis. Hi, hi, this is Kelly. Don't you look so handsome? And Dee so beautiful. Thank you, Mrs. Kelly. Listen, I'm sorry we had to stop by like this, but we really need to talk to you about something. What? What? It's about Charlie. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it! I just can't believe it! No, no, I have to admit, it does explain a lot about it. Oh my god, we were eyes. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Be strong, bud. Be strong for your little gingerbread man. No, it's That's actually his mom, isn't it? She looks like him. She looks just Are like him. Are you okay? <laughs> he looks like her. I'm fine. So, what do you need from me? Call his entire family. <laughs> Isn't that what they wanted to do? An intervention? Intervention. intervention. Yeah. What do you mean an intervention? For intervention? You're not interven intervening anything! It's like if he's like addicted to heroin, you get an intervention, you know? Yeah. Not like someone had trauma from their past. <laughs> yeah, I got your message. You sounded kind of funny. Come on back, honey. Everything all right? Oh my Hello. god. This huh? would be terrifying. Yeah. Grandma, Uncle Jack, what's what's everybody doing here? We've all gathered here at the request of your friends. Hey. Oh my, why are they? Sorry. The McPoyles. I, I don't exactly know. Now he can't say no because they're there, right? Yeah. But we understand that there's been some abuse. These two boys have been strong enough to admit what happened. And we thank you for that. I hope that that man goes away for a long, long time. Prison can be a bad place for a guy like that. Very bad place. No, we're not exactly That's so sure awkward. He's so good. He's so yeah, good at girl. being weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at his stance towards Open Dennis. He's like... Points. No? Exactly. I kept thinking of this whenever we would watch Westworld. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, Show Charlie. us... Oh Show my us gosh. Show you what? The music, listen to the music. Judged you. Why? Why, did, why did Uncle Jack look like that? Uncle Jack. Shall I turn it over? Yeah, turn it over. Oh my god. Jack, you're a Fucking creep! Jack. Fucking Jack is the one who's molesting people. Oh my god, this music! Don't. It's so elaborate. Don't. <laughs> slow. Slow. Oh my god. What the hell? I 
that went well. You did a wonderful job, Charlie. Oh. I really think they bought <laughs> Oh, yeah. Definitely. This is uh, a <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Yeah, as it feels like. We were all hugging. My sister screamed and told everyone that I touched her vagina. Yeah. <laughs> so, Charlie. Where to? Oh, well, I was thinking we should uh, zip down the police station, you know? File an official report. I mean, I gotta, I gotta do it sometime, right? That's the spirit. Let's get it on the books. The car feels so old. It does. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'd like to uh, speak to a detective, please. Name? Charlie Kelly. What is this in reference to? Sodomy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Take a seat. <laughs> he brings two guys in with him. <laughs> what the fuck? The right thing, Charlie. Twenty-five million. There's a lot of clan. I hope these guys like, get. I hope he turns on. Charlie, yeah. Something. What about Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> He's turning on him such a great so hard. Oh my gosh. Hey, how'd it go? Great. I just ratted you out. Can I see you two boys for a minute, please? Oh, good. Good, Charlie. Right? Uh, so you're not going to get in any trouble at all? Uh, no. No, not really. The McBoyles are going to plead guilty. I'm sort of off the hook completely. That's great. Oh, I'm sorry. Was he saying that the intervention worked? No, oh, I don't think that's what he's saying. What are you talking about? It was the final push Charlie needed. Turns out three quarters of a major, not so bad after all. Oh, huh? uh, and the best part of it actually for me now is the fact that everybody thinks that I've been molested. So, in, in a way, my life is ruined. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go in the back office and cry and cry and cry and drink for a while. Emotional release. Another giant step forward. God, we're good. Doctor? Doctor. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, so I just want to apologize again for the other day. It's all right, Mac. Don't worry about it. Awkward, right? Hey, you know what? You were a good student in school. You got potential. I'll just put that in your pocket. Really? You mean that? I mean that. Oh, great. Coach, that's all I really needed to hear. Good. Oh, that is so great for me. Hey, say hi to those folks for me. I will, thanks. All right. That little prick's going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Good. I was scared. Yeah, I I didn't know if I was sure was gonna. I happen wanted to see anymore. I didn't expect to recognize so many people in this episode. I know, right? <laughs> Every time I get to that episode, I'm always like, "Oh my god, it's all right." Cause and it's I hope by the bell. I hope I never see those McBoyles again. The McBoyles. <laughs> <laughs> Pieces of shit. Uh, Uncle Jack needs to go to jail. I think. I don't know. Yeah, that guy, definitely. That guy gives me some feelings that I don't like. Oh I'm, my god. I'm also glad that uh, D and uh, Dennis. Dennis like. Called Mac out for the dumb shit he was saying. Yeah, but at the same, but also on the flip, on the flip side of that, completely undermined all of their mm -hmm. their good work yeah. by by doing that stuff to Charlotte. I can't believe they made an intervention. Like if someone was like raped or molested or any of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, like it's not an intervention. No, like you intervene, you intervene to someone who stays in something they shouldn't be in. Yeah, this is someone who's had trauma. Like if someone like cut off their leg and wasn't like. Like they lost their leg, their leg in an accident. You wouldn't make an intervention because well, you're just sitting in a wheelchair all day. You know, like yeah. That's not like how you it should works. get up and walk. Yeah, that's not how it works. No, like I don't understand. It was just like like we know thinking. Dennis knows psychology because he uses it for his evil ways a lot. Yeah, but when he's trying to help somebody, he, he can't do anything. He, he gets to. Egotistical. Same thing with D. Like they both were looking down on Mac, who was right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's know? like, oh, what they do is they go for someone yeah. who's, you know, they want power. Yeah. And Charlie yeah. bit him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's not gonna do that. And, I, and Mac, like I, it's ob obviously the whole show. You can say like it's terrible, but he got to the right conclusion. <laughs> he did. <laughs> In a very fucked oh up, my gosh. such a fucked up way. Yeah, his method of going and seeing—I yeah. uh, don't know what the guy's Belding, whatever the mm -hmm. whatever his name was in this. Yeah, Murray. Uh, Murray. Yeah, it was yeah. Christopher Murray, like at St. Vincent's. It, he went there with like those shorts and everything. Yeah, and as soon as I saw his outfit, I'm like, oh my god. But it was also the whole process of like when he's there, like blown, and he just kept going with it. I'm like, is he saying like? 
at first I thought he was going to be like, man, those guys were, you know, gross and smelly and all this stuff. Like, who would blow those guys? Like, I thought it was, like, something like that. Sure. And then as it went on longer, I'm like, he's talking about how bad they are and how he didn't get anything. And I'm like, he's jealous of not being molested. Yeah. That's ridiculous. I wanted to look up, because I always thought the same thing with Charlie's mom. I'm like, man, that actress is either super well casted or they just got his mom to come in and do this part. Yeah. I wanted to look it up real quick. I don't think that she's actually his mother. I think it's just that well casted. That's insane. Yeah, that's like she looks. That's like dark level casting. Yeah, <laughs> she looks. Man, I see so it so much like his mom. Yeah. I didn't see it. Did you not? No, I was like, does, oh. does she? And I was like looking, like I don't know. And now she just her makeup's all crazy. I can't. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have any idea. See what just happened there? And it's like usually you suck at that, but you're right. So you're like macking this. Like, dang it, he's right. <laughs> yeah, right. You can't be like, <laughs> got that but it is mom. Mom. fucked up way. <laughs> <laughs> I, <didn't see> <laughs> I don't know from anything specifically. It's just a bunch of random stuff that he's been in like one-off stuff so it's another one of those like he's just in something oh the <laughs> which the, one the other guy not not the guy from Westworld but the other brother. Nate Mooney gotcha okay uh, yeah. so he's just in stuff yeah Jimmy Simpson I've seen him for like I've always seen him and he's a great actor but I first saw him in this Dude. so every time we would watch Westworld I would in my head go like McBoyles <laughs> Him there next to Dennis at that one point, like the way he was just standing, yeah. like Calvin said, it was like he was like thrusting yeah. forward a little bit. Did he? Did you know did that? Did like, Charlie say my my favorite part was at the end when we were all hugging and my sister yelled out, "Charlie touched my vagina." Yeah. And then like that one McPoyle gave a look, uh-huh. and I was like, "Yeah, I don't like a guy even more." Yeah. No, that intervention was the worst thing that could have been done, and now everybody's vulnerable and <laughs> and throwing around accusations. And the only person that probably deserves it. Uncle Jack, no one said anything about him. Mm-hmm. Him being like, do it. Yeah, flip it over. I hate Uncle Jack. <laughs> I love Charlie. Why I love is Charlie's... every Uncle Jack the worst piece of shit ever? Right. Yeah. Breaking Charlie's Bad. Mom. You want me to flip it over? Dun, dun. <laughs> the music is... The music was crazy. Uh, and it was so slow, man. like... Yeah. But it, it got to the point where it was uh-huh. so, as close as it could without touching, yeah. and then it got... Sure. <sighs> man... Season one is a trip. It's definitely, it's that thing where it's like they, FX is probably like, okay, we'll try it, but you get seven. <laughs> you seven know. is a weird number. Seven is a weird number, especially yeah. from like when did this come out? What? How long 2005? ago? Two thousand five. Real. They must have. Ago. Like it seems like a weird number for yeah. a TV. They show. They must have made the pitch, and FX was like halfway between two shows. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, this show is ending. And this show doesn't start till then. We need just anything that will yeah. fill this gap. Yeah, and time like, slot for seven episodes. We've got something. Mm-hmm. And they shoved it in there and made everyone feel awkward. Yeah. So after seven episodes, which we've watched, though we didn't. We, though we've watched, how do you guys feel about it so far? Um, if you were watching this casually, would you continue on to season two? I mean, at some point I watched an episode and I didn't keep watching more. Yeah. When I first started, yeah. like, oh, when I first started, uh, I did the same thing. I was like, yeah, okay, I was like, uh, you know. And then but I, I have seen like but then I would see clips of. Later I've stuff. seen at least one clip of mm-hmm. Danny DeVito. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that seems really funny, and I love Danny DeVito, you know. So I think most people, and you'll get this as we, you know, we're going to continue on to season two, which on Patreon right now we're even further ahead. Um, but I think a lot of people are like, eh, I like it, but there's something missing. Yeah, I could see that maybe. There's a, you know, it's missing a voice of reason. <laughs> That's what's missing. Well, they everyone like they like a lot of sitcoms do this, but like they like change they the swap voice out. of reason between scenes. Yeah, yeah. I guess Charlie in this episode was like a voice he of was. reason, but he wasn't voicing it because he felt like he couldn't. Right. You're right. Like he felt he was trapped Dude, by uh, the McPoyles, that's... so he couldn't say it there. He couldn't say it here. We took him to the police station. <laughs> I love that shot. We're like, what about Charlie? Should he get any money? <laughs> <laughs> it's like 50 50 50. <laughs> that's, that's a good cut because I'm like, oh, I, yeah, hope, I hope Charlie turns them yeah. in here. Oh man, <clears throat> the thing I like about the show, and I think it's even present in this in this season, is uh, it's a thing that the South Park creators talk about a lot. Like when you're telling a story, it's not like, okay, so here's a thing that happened, and then this happened, and then this happened. It's no, it's here's a thing that happened because it happened, this happens. Because that happened, this happened. Like, there's more of a story flow. Like, you go from one thing to another. It's not just, like, throwing random stuff at, at people. 
It's always sure. like stems from one bad decision begets the next bad decision, the next bad decision, and they all snowball and they all end up like you know, low, worse off than when they started the day. Sure, and a lot <laughs> of it is them making assumptions too, right? Yeah, like oh yeah, Dennis is what started that because he goes, oh, Charlie got molested. Like he just assumed yeah. from his reaction, which I mean, it's possible that that it's could not have been an unreasonable. It, right? like, mm-hmm. From his reaction and the way he was acting and everything. Yeah. yeah. You'd be like, oh, did he have interactions with the teacher too? Is that yeah. why? He's like, well, I was in it, but I didn't like it. You know? Sure. Like, that sounded like one of those kind of things. And I get why Dennis went there, but then because he made that assumption and they never talked to Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> like, they should have talked to Charlie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then they were fighting over who could solve the problem. Yep. Which that's the... Because of their ego. Yeah. Dee's like, no, my way's right. And Dee's like, no, my way's right. And they're both trying to do it at the same time. And then Dee's like, oh, we're going to have to get an intervention. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. Like, especially around here, especially the older generation, there's this, like, there's this idea that someone is too old. It's like, eh, they, they're not going to change. Just let them finish out their life. Like, you got, like, a grandparent or, like, a sure. grandparent's friend, and they say something fucked up. But sometimes it's still kind of funny, but it's because it's like, well, they don't know any better. That's just how they are. And guess what? They don't got a lot of time left. Let's sure. Just, let's, let's just They're pick a knee and run out the clock. 85 you know? years old. Yeah. They've lived this way their entire yeah. life. Sure. Can you change them at this point? Exactly. Is it worth it? But like <laughs> these guys, it's always sunny. They're in, you know, these bad people in Philadelphia, they, they still got time. They do. They, they can change. There's like, hope. For me, it's like them rolling up. The, the, you know, they're rolling the boulder up the hill and it gets smashed every time because they See, can't change. This is why, <laughs> it's be a weird thing. This is why in politics you need to have a cutoff point, too. Yeah, right. You need to have a starting no, point and a cutoff yeah. point <laughs> where it's like they're too old, 100%. they're not changing their ways or anything, you know? Yeah. And I, I think, like, the minimum age is, like, too far. They're too old, yeah. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I think you start at 30. Because, because and politics. 60. Give them good 30 years. Because politics years. are not reacting quick enough to how society is changing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's because they're old people. Sounds like ways. ageism. Is it, is it? Trying to take their license. You know what? We haven't no. the right age. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they can have their license. Take your driver's license. <laughs> but anyway, like the whole point of it, like, you know. It's got to be retested. Like there's a certain kind of person, like I said, especially in our region, where I'm like, I think you're wrong on so many levels. Yeah. But the way they say it and the way that like reminds me of how I grew up or people around me that grew up, I'm like, it's kind of funny though. Uh, I kind of feel that way about this, but I don't know anybody from Philadelphia, you know? And I'm obviously not judging people that are from this region. It's sure. just these specific people. I find it very funny, but I'm not at all. My laughter does does not denote approval. Or approval. <laughs> yes. I love that they put themselves, they all put themselves in these situations. Sure. And they all believe it's not their fault. Well, it's a, uh, I mean, it's a dark humor show, too. Yeah. And this, the, the, the fun thing with dark humor is enjoying it with people where like everyone's like this is funny yeah. because it's terrible, terrible and obviously is not something you should do yeah. or think or whatever the worst part is and the most awkward part is when you get with someone where it's like oh well, that seems okay you know it's like you're taking the fun out of this because you sure. would agree with this shit you yeah, know like that's, sure. that's the thing yeah. so I like it because of the dark humor and there's some dark humor things yeah. that I think can be really funny yeah. but there can also be some cringy moments where I'm just kind of like oh my god yes there can why are you doing this it will be more dark humor, more cringy stuff, and uh, mm-hmm. a whole nother cast member in the next season of It's Always yes. Sunny in Philadelphia. Let's get to it. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this season with us. If you go over to patreon.com slash blindwave, though, you can check out up to the first four episodes of season two of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Not only that, but up to a month on all the stuff that we catch up on. TV shows, movies, and lots of other stuff. Four!